A quick rundown. Monkey Depression Experiment refers to a Sendai Tohoku University experiment, the first of its kind that successfully induced depression in an animal, specifically the Japanese macaque, by manipulating their brain activity using magnetic stimulation. The project included researchers from both Tokyo and Showa University and involved repetitive low-frequency transcranial magnetic stimulation of the medial frontal cortex, or MFC, of a group of monkeys that were best known for images of them relaxing in the hot springs and pools of Japan's Jigokudani. The researchers have stated that human brain imaging studies have demonstrated abnormalities of this brain region in patients with mood disorders, and a magnetic stimulation was used to suppress activity in the dorsal, posterior, and ventral regions of the MFC. While no significant changes were noted after testing for the dorsal and posterior sections, magnetic suppression of the ventral MFC resulted in a depressive state observed through decreased social activity, physical movement, and motivation among the so-tested monkeys, as well as increased plasma cortisol levels. Researchers were ecstatic in their ability to make monkeys sad. However, as science is still completely unaware of how magnets actually work, we're unable to reverse the polarity and make monkey happy. With no other alternatives, the scientists decided to share their personal supply of ketamine to the monkeys which ameliorated the abnormal behavior and psychological states induced by the magnetic stimulation, as shown by this very advanced flowchart. After this very important and ethical study was concluded, the researchers were quick to announce their findings, to which the Japanese public responded, Stop that right now. This is scary in all sorts of ways. If you're excited about this, you need to have your head examined. And I hope those monkeys didn't become depressed again after their medication wore off. The researchers were quick to point out that they didn't do this experiment because, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we could mess with a monkey's mind? And certainly weren't thinking about applying these depression magnets directly to the foreheads of their detractors. At this time, the future of this research project is uncertain.